What's up, people? I'm back again today with Javante Garcia, full artwork breakdown. Let me not waste the time, man. Let's get into it. Let's get it. All right, so I have Devante Cadaria. There's a big image, the large one that fills up the most part of the artboard. So the shoulder wasn't filled, so I had to fill that part. So I just filled it with a gradient color. And I have this image of Devante always a cutout, placed to the right side. And just lower it a bit and just let it fit right here. All right, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. So I have to blend the bottom part to blend it in nicely. Blend, blend, blend. All right, we go. Now I have this image too of him screaming. Yeah, it was wild. I think I've had a knockout after the, the, the knockout punch. So let me cut that one out. Uh, this is just from my cut as well. Fast forward through this part. All right, so I think we're done here. Let me place it. Enlarge it a bit. Let it, oh, well, I just want to place it to the left side. So, yeah. Let me just blend that one in nicely. And I think, yeah, with him in the ring with Garcia, immediately after the, Garcia gave up, I think, yeah, that that's the image that was captured. So let me cut. So I'm cutting everything now, including the, even the boxing ring. So this includes the boxing ring, yeah, everything. So all the crowd was gone. Uh, let me place it right here in the middle part. So the color behind didn't look right for me. So I just picked up the color from Devante Shores. I think you have the purple. Yeah, and a bit of like green with it. My purple and green didn't look well for me, so I just did, did the purple. But the purple looks nice, and uh, I'm feeling it. So I'll just I'll go stick with the purple right here. So there's the color, there's the gradients, how it looks like. Yeah, I tried a different gradient. As I said, the green and purple, was, it wasn't just working. So let me just stick with the purple here. All right, let's move forward. Uh, I think from here we're just going to um, bring in some light so that we have a light beam like a light coming from below where the crowds are supposed to be so I'll change the blend mode to screen so that it bites this into up removes all the black and just keep the white the lighting is nice let me just I think I have to have something else yeah the, uh, here's the situation just to change the color up a bit, give it a purple touch. Yeah, to turn the vibrant the saturation all the way up, turn to a bit purple. So you can feel on his face on the left side of the the middle image. To the light is a bit purple. You have to change the purple. So that's the difference that you see. Yeah, turn it by now. This doesn't look good. Let me bring it down. This is nice. I like the purple, the white. So we have a white, but like below, and you have the purple lights like coming all the way from below. I like that a lot. Yeah. So I think that part is done. Let me just see what's up. And uh, of course, from here, we're just adding camera effects to the player. So I do want to. These are my figures. It's just normal, vibrant, saturation. So I use the, the same thing for all the parts. So this is just me adding up some levels here to brighten up the highlights and the shadows. Nice. So you, your levels, you turn one to multiply, you turn one to screen, then you invert it, then you just paint back the part that you need. You get me? So this is the lighting for Devante, the big image of Devante. So the, if the light is coming from below, you have some on the on this part of his nose, the lower lip, and probably the beard and a bit of his cheeks. So that that's the lighting that I'm working on. So mostly, uh, I'll do my lighting. I create a solid color. I turn it to linear dodge add. Then I invert the layer mask so that everything disappears. Then I just paint back the part that I need. So as you can see here, I'm just painting the right side of his face. I'm painting the left side of his of his face, his cheeks. That's what I feel like lighting is going to be. Do you get me? So, the uh, to the right image side, that's where the lighting is going to be. The lower arm, his, his, his boxing gloves. So that's where I'm painting the lighting because I feel like that's where lighting is going to be when the light is coming from below. So we go to his face, uh, his jawbone, 
and a bit of his cheeks. He's a little while lip, as I said. The upper part of his eye. Those are the places that are going to feel like they are going to the light is going to be hitting. So yeah. Then of course blend if to just turn everything down a bit so that I get it in the highlights. I don't want it in the shadows. Yeah, so it makes everything blend properly. The same I use the same for the image on the left as well. Same thing. Yeah, we just blending everything together. Um guys, so please let me know. Let me know if this video is probably too fast. I'll, I'll just try and slow it down a, a bit so that you can understand how everything came about. So the the lighting where the light is coming from is coming from outside the ring. So the light is going to be hitting his arm from that side. So that's why I'm painting this part. Yeah, where I feel like the light is the direction of the light is coming from, and where it's going to be hitting. So I'm painting the legs of Devante and parts of Garcia as well. So mostly when I paint, I just clean that side to give it softer edges. Yes. So as I said, you invert, you paint back the parts that you only need. Don't even try to do anything else. And that is, it makes it very simple. It makes it very fast. So I selective color to all these things. Uh, to the to the to the Vante, the one in the ring, just to make him look more brighter and more sharper. Yeah, more light into the the body. That is that is cool. That is cool. Yeah, it is cool. So yeah, so I'm about to create shadows here. So I'm just selecting Garcia and Devante only, and creating a new layer. Fill it with black and just lower that part. Lower it to fill the canvas. Of the boxing ring that like the lower part of the boxing ring yeah that's for the shadows and there's a text there's a text that initially i wanted to fit in but it didn't look right for me so i needed to move away from it and i created another text at the upper to fill up the white part on the at the top yeah so i just tried it. it's the same thing so you do it you create a text you right click you convert to shape so that you can work the text as a shape do you get me so the, the you stroke one then the other one you fill it so the stroke goes above the image and the one that is filled goes below behind or behind let me put it that way behind the image so that's how this thing came about the, this color i mean this shade of gray was too much for me so i had to lower it a bit so that it doesn't it doesn't confuse or it doesn't like become the center stage of the artwork yeah, I didn't want it to be distracting. So I just placed the Devante at the top. I'm going to place in the Davis to the right side. So that it makes everything coordinated and also well balanced. So your art board, your artwork, everything has to be well balanced in terms of text and elements. And then like basic graphic design. So uh, let me enlarge the text a bit right here. Uh, yeah, let me just copy it and place it to the right. Uh, change the Javante to Davis. So there you have a Javante Tank Davis. Yeah, that's the artwork for you. That's everything. So this is basically done. The rest is just post editing and removing the text below. So let me just let me get rid of that text and let's go to the post editing. So I create mostly I create a new layer on top on top of everything. Yes. Then what you do is you Control Alt shift e we just copy everything below into like that layer that we've created then you just convert to smart object then you come to your camera raw effect you add up your texture you add up your dehaze your vibrance your saturation i think yeah, we are done so that's the post editing that's everything guys i'll see you next time and please subscribe please please subscribe like comment all that good stuff i'll see you next time with another video if you have any comments, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.